Hello everyone, this is Val from Val's Craft Creations and today we're going to be making the third video for this Val's Craft Creation collaboration and we're going to be using the Steampunk Digital Kit created by Val's Craft Creation and like you know, it have not never been released before. So we did this collaboration to help this um, group of um, wonderful crafters to um, grow their YouTube channel. Some of them, this is their first video that they're gonna release on their channel for the first time. And some of them are um, starting their journey on YouTube. So this collaboration is more for helping, you know, each other grow our YouTube channels. Um, I know that this paper haven't never, you know, haven't been released before. But um, if you want to get some of these kits, um, you can email me and I will leave all my information on the description box. And, you know, I can um, let you know how you can get one of these kits. So the kit that we're going to be using today is the Steampunk. And uh, the ladies, the channels that are going to be working with the Steampunk um, digital kit are... Dorothy Kelty Raccoon Alley Creations, um, Crafting with Gaga, Junk Journal Diva, Sunday Maybe Curiosities, and Bash Craft Creations. Uh, it's five crafters that are going to be using the Steampunk kit. Um, I already cut my paper to side, but if you want to see how the collection looks, you can go to the launch video on my YouTube channel and there you can get an idea on how the kit, all the kits looks and also you will get information on how to enter the giveaway and we're gonna have a giveaway at the end of this collaboration around February 5th or 6th we're gonna do the um and uh, we're gonna pick the names and there's like 15 different prizes that you can get so um please Go to the launch video and on the launch video, you will see, uh, you will learn how to enter on the giveaway. So um, this is some of the pages of, I, I'm using also coffee dye paper. As, uh, this is the signature, but this is some of the paper from the paper kit. Um, but if you wanna see the kit, like I told you, I show all the kits on the, um, launch video for this collaboration and there i explain everything on how you can participate on the giveaway who is participating on this collaboration all that information you can find on the launch video so this is um my signature and these are some of the papers for the kit it's another one here, this is what I had left that I'm not gonna be using. So, but I wanted to show you this page. Um, the kit have, um, this is more of the paper, but I already cut it. So please go to the launch video so you can see how everything looks. But this is some of the papers. The kit brings um, belly band, pocket, die cuts, um more pocket journaling cards this is more journaling card it had tags um this is large journaling cards all these are journaling card i did it larger like this but you can um you know when you're printed printing your paper you can um print them smaller um, you know, I'm, I'm not an expert on digital kits. This is the first time that I created um, digital kits and, you know, they're not perfect, but that's why I never released them because, uh, you know, they're not perfect, but I wanted to use them on this collaboration and help, you know, these ladies grow their channel. So this is gonna be my um, base for my um, journal. It's gonna be just a file folder that I cut in half. So this is one half and this is the other half. 
And my journal is gonna be counting this, well, without the flap, if you wanna do it without these flaps here, seven and a half by five and a half, and I have a half inch spine. But if you wanna count this little flap here from the five fold, there is a by five and a half. And these flaps here are, I think I put the measurements. I just, this is the bottom part of my folder or the, and I just um, did this panel two and three quarters and half an inch here. And then I just fold it and fold it. And I did my um, spine here and then fold them like this and fold this out like that. And that's it. So you just need a folder and cut it in half and then you, know, you want to do it eight the size is going to be eight by five and a half with half inch spine same here half inch spine and two and three quarter of um all these panels are two and three quarters and half inch spine uh, my signature is going to be sold to this piece of paper and then i'm going to glue this down and it's going to be like a hidden Signature, so we're gonna start with the signature, attaching the signature to this. And I have 10 pages folding, no, 15 pages fold in half. So it's gonna be a signature with 30 pages. Let me grab a clip. Let me open this so it's easy to see what I'm doing. I'm just um, placing this where I want my signature and I'm just gonna eyeball my holes. So I'm going to be doing a pamphlet stitch. My goodness, can I pick my... So I'm going to go here in the middle first. And I'm going to hold this in place here with my finger. And then I'm going to go to the top. to the bottom and then right on the middle again Just make sure that this is pull tight. And I'm just gonna double knot it. And I'm gonna do a little bow. I'm gonna do the base, I don't know yet how I'm gonna decorate my journal. Okay, so the signature is in place. And I'm gonna put it to the side because we are gonna decorate our base and then we will attach the signature to, to the cover. 
So um, I'm gonna start covering my my journal. This is gonna be my cover. I mean my sure, yes. And this is gonna be inside. Where's that little piece of paper that I have here that it was blue, where is it? Don't, ah, uh, here, <laughs> this is for my spine. So let me place that first. Where's my glue? Cause it's so little that I, I can, can get lost. So, um, some of the ladies have released their video, Bass Crafts Creation as well, um, for the cream dry flower kit and the Victorian roses kit. We also, um, we originally were 15 ladies, but I have a surprise. We're going to have a, um, a guest designer, um, she contacted me and I said, you know, why not? She's going to be using the cream, um, the cream, um, dry flower dito kit. I will release her name as soon as we finalize all the paperwork and everything. I sent her the kit and everything. But we're gonna have, on the last day of the collaboration, we're gonna have an extra um, crafter participating on the collaboration. I haven't told the ladies, so they're gonna find out now, because I just uh, did that today. Um, I like to give opportunity to other people, because I got many opportunities to, you know, from other uh, crafters too, that let me work on their design things. Um, and they gave me the opportunity and work with their collaboration as well. So, you know, why not let other people do the same? So, if, you know, I have received help, so I would like to give in return the same help that I have received. So, okay, so now we're gonna do the inside. I'm not gonna put anything right now there and I don't think I'm gonna do anything on the other one either. I'm just gonna leave it like that. But you can, you are more than welcome to cover the one that you put the signature in. But I'm just gonna leave it like that. I always, when I use a file folder or something that I'm repurposing, I always like to leave like a clue that, so people can know what I used. But you are more than welcome to cover the one that you attach the signature to. This is like, um, let me see. I think this is like my four steampunk project that I do. Um, I, I have done. I really love steampunk, something that, uh, you know, um, I'm looking for this. It's something that I really like. I don't know why the industrial um, thing like this, I love it. So before I attach this, let's cover the panels. For number five. Well, some of them I didn't put the number. Here's five. That one goes there. Um, to decorate my cover, I'm gonna use some of these gears that I got at Walmart. Number six. Mm. 
mean, I'm gonna wait until this right before folding this. Let's go there. And you can cut all these flaps, flaps, um, flaps as you want to. I, like I told you, I like to keep my file folder like it is, if it's possible, you know? So you will know that this is a file folder. Yeah, I'm missing the other one that goes here. So this beautiful lady is gonna go here. And I distressed this here because I didn't know what I was gonna do if I was gonna cut this and leave that as a file folder or what I was gonna do, but we're gonna cover it and then we will fold it. Okay, so now we're gonna do this side. So don't forget to visit the other ladies' channels, um, the ones that are going to be working with the steampunk team. I will leave all the information below. There's going to be a link three link that you can um, click on it and you will find all the channels links there and that way you can Find them, all of them on one place and you can go and, you know, subscribe to their channel. That would be awesome. If you participate with us and also if you support us. That's one of the requirements to participate on the giveaway. We're going to have journals, digital kits. We're also going to have folios and the giveaway. Um, we're also going to have um, die cuts, bundles, a surprise mystery box with crafting supplies. We're going to have a lot of good prices. So please go ahead and enter your name, you know, on the giveaway. Just go to the launch video. Trying to see if I want to fold it out or wait more. I think I'm going to wait because I feel that it's still um, wet. So now we're going to attach this to our cover. Make sure that is glued down. And we're gonna leave that to dry. Okay, 
just going to be a simple um, fry it. Just doing the cover so I can leave um, this to dry while we work on something else. Let me see where my die cuts are. Let me use this one for this. some of my smaller gears here. My glue gun is dead. It's like a metal um, trim that I want to use here. I got this uh, um, my goodness, Dollar Tree. Last year, I don't know if they still had this. Let me see if I can use my glue gun before it's completely dead. Has to be careful with, because this is metal. I thought my glue gun was there, but it's not. Oh, I cut this one too long. And we're gonna put some gears here too.
Maybe we can use one of these hearts here. I love it. This is a steampunk, so... Okay. So now... I have some... Um, let me see something. Because I want to add... Like something else here on the cover. I have some stickers that I created for this collection. Um, let me see where my steampunk stickers are. I have a bunch of stickers here that I'm gonna sell, but okay, there's some there. It's more here. I created these stickers for this collection. I haven't released them either. Um, but I think I can use like a sentiment or something. Comfort, the enemy of progress. Let me see what else I have here. Forget milestone, remember magical moments. I like that one. And I had this. So I'm gonna use something here like on the cover, but let me see where I want it. Right here on this flap. Gonna be selling these stickers on my Facebook page later today. Um, no, well, today is what day is today? The 30th, but the this video is gonna be released like on February the 1st, I think. But I'm gonna be selling them on my Facebook page on the 30th. I think I'm gonna go here so I don't cover this look how cute no that's too much that's too much but i have smaller gears let me see no you know what i'm gonna add this one there I think that's perfect. Oh, I love it already. But yes, I'm gonna be selling these stickers on my Facebook page. I have a Shopify store, but right now it's closed because I sold everything that I had on that store. And so far I haven't added anything else, but so that's why I'm gonna be um, selling them on my Facebook group and page. You wanna check my Facebook group? I don't do like any um, swaps or anything like that, but you can post your creations there. I don't mind. You can sell your stuff. Um, the only requirement is that it's crap related, but other than that, can say I think we can fold this now. And you don't have to fold this, you don't want to. It's just that I wanted to, like it look nice like that, something like I I was gonna put um, a gear there, just to do something different. 
but you don't have to fold this if you don't want to. Okay, now I think my glue is dead. My glue gone. I got this, these are buttons. Um, some of them, the gears, all that I get, I got it at Walmart. The only thing that I don't like about these um, cordless um, glue guns is that they are, they only last an hour. Um, let me grab another glue gun. And... I have an old one here, let me use this one. Just gonna wait for it to Turn on. Okay, so I don't have a lot of pockets and stuff. So that one is gonna go here. It didn't last an hour because I was, I, I recorded a, a, another tutorial a video before this one. So I already used it before. Okay, so that puck is gonna go there. Let's see if my tags, yeah. And let me wait until it dries. I don't think that I have any other pocket. This one. Here you can put something small. Well, I don't know, let's see. I wish I had done more pockets and stuff. But like I told you, this is my first time doing little kits. I am not an expert. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna use one of these as pocket. I was just experimenting, but let me tell you, it's a lot of work. A lot of work. That's why I only created four. I don't know if I'm gonna create any more. I may do another collaboration in the middle of the year because some people really wanted to participate, but you know, I didn't wanna get a lot of people and then I, I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to handle it because I've been sick. And I was in the hospital twice, but maybe for the middle of the year, I will do another one. Maybe using the same paper. So maybe, I don't know, maybe I will do another set of papers. Maybe, I don't know yet. Depending on my health. So that's gonna be a mini pocket there. We have a pocket here. Then here, let's use one of these belly bands. Let's do the other belly band here. Should have print this paper on cardstock. I wasn't thinking about it. Where's my other belly band here? Oh, I put glue on my sponge. But I had to change it either way.
so I just gotta wait for it to dry before I put something there. Probably it's gonna be one of these. One is gonna have this um, envelope and the other one is gonna have that. And then with this large, um, journaling cards maybe I am able to do some pocket with this paper that I have left I know it's not cardstock, but we can use it as a pocket. Have to make sure that my journaling card can go in. Maybe in the and later on I will reduce this um, journaling card and make them smaller. Let me wait until it dries. I ran out of my quarter inch double sided tape, so I, I'm using glue, but for my pockets, I always like to use my double sided tape, the quarter inch one. Okay, so let them dry, and then, so I have. One, two, three, four. I have this postcard, five, six, seven, eight. We can pull maybe four pockets and use two. So I have this paper left. We can do some belly bands. And that way I will use all this crap. And we're gonna leave everything to dry before we add anything. And you see, nothing goes to waste, just small pieces of paper. So 
So we're gonna do four belly bands, two of those pockets. And you can add more pages. I just didn't have more of the paper collection pages or my um, coffee dye paper. So I just use whatever I have, but you can add more pages to your signature. Okay, so let's see if I may need to cut this. I will distress the edges later. Because I distressed the edges already, but since I'm gonna cut them so it, they will fit my belly bands, I will distress the edges again when I'm done. Maybe a little bit more here on the bottom. So I may need to cut, um, make them smaller on my kit, but I think we can work with them. I like, I wanted them big so I have space to journal, you know. Let's do the postcard. Perfect. Everything looks so cute. Let this do this other postcard now. I want one that I can cut without damaging the images. This envelope, let me close it. So I can put the ephemera that I will have left inside here, like maybe this, this will go here, let me see. Mm, they're a little, and I think I want to use that for something else, but let's just put this here for now. And I have two left, but that ones we can put two in a pocket.
So maybe I think I'm gonna do like a a hidden paper clip when I'm done here. And I will put those like with hidden paper clips. And then my tags. I want to put something here on the top, but I will do that later. I have four, so I'm going to put two there. Make sure that I didn't close my book. No. The tag is too big for this one, I think. In this case, you have to cut your stuff. I, I don't mind. Just make it work. That's why I like um, double-sided tape instead of glue. I think I put too much glue. At least I want to put something here. There you go. One at least. I have to glue this down, but I'm going to wait until I get double-sided tape and put it there. And this tag, we can add it here on the other one for now. Like that, like three. This we can use as side puck. Ah, you know what? That's what I'm gonna do. But instead of using one of these white pages, so you can use it as um, As journaling space, let's use one of this part here as a tuck spot. There you go. There you have all the space for your stuff. And then I have these die cuts. If I don't use them, I will maybe add it to the the envelope. I think I want to use it like in one of these white pages, like to decorate the corner of the page.
And I don't think I'm gonna use lace on any of my pages. Because this is steampunk. I don't wanna make it look feminine. You know what I mean? my project and see let me put all this away on the spine I'm not gonna put anything because it's too small I don't think let me see well maybe I will do a dangle, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put a dangle on this gear and put it here. That's what I'm gonna do so it look more. There is something to the spine, but I'm not gonna do that right now. Okay, I think I'm done. Um, Yeah, that's the one for the dangle. Just putting my stuff away so I can have stay here to show you the project. I love this like trim. I didn't put pocket here because I didn't want to cover um this. It's a voyage here, steampunk. Then you open it and you have a hidden pocket there. You have a lot of um, plenty of journaling space and then you have your tags, your journaling cards. There's plenty of journaling card, journaling space. It's a simple, easy, um, beginners um, steampunk journal so I'm pretty sure if you're a beginner um, here I may add something here on the corner maybe like a side pocket I don't have anything else right now but let me see no that's too big but I may add something there I may leave it like that but this is like a beginners um, journal it's very easy to make, only one signature. So this is it for today. I hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe to each channel, you know, uh, to all the participant channel. Go visit their channel, watch their video, leave a comment. That will help us uh, greatly, you know, because we will grow together. So thank you for watching everyone. Happy crafting.